It's like the filling. fridge to go. Meanwhile, over here, it's just going to take a while. So, that was 6 o'clock, I think they're ready to come out. Want a picture of this being cut? Yep. Over here, doing the filling. Oh my. Oh my god, that looks good. <laughs> we gotta eat all these. Oh my god.
That right there is a Reese's peanut butter cup. <laughs> Sounds a little different, of course, but it's uh, not as sugary as the mm -hmm. store bought ones. Nice, smooth. Oh, it's good. Mm. So, recipe. cup of peanut butter, quarter cup of butter, divided up in tiny pieces, and two cups of icing sugar, and we mix it in a mixer, and then we mold them into three sections and roll them out, put them in the fridge, and while that was chilling, we made uh, two separate bowls of uh, chocolate chips, it's a quarter cup of shortening. Yeah. So each one was 12 ounces and two tablespoons. Okay, so. In two different bowls. So what we did was uh, 12 ounces of chocolate chips and two tablespoons of shortening in one bowl. And then we did another bowl, 12 ounce chips and uh, two tablespoons of shortening. If we melted them, you've seen how we melted them down. Made a nice smooth batter or chocolate. And then when we were getting, I scooped out the chocolate for the bottoms and then Gina laid in the peanut butter pieces that we sliced up. And then put chocolate on the top. At about here I ran out of chocolate. So what I did, I actually made up a third bowl. It's about 10 ounces of chocolate chips, I guess. I just took a guess and put it in another two tablespoons of shortening. Melted that, and then we finished. Still didn't quite have enough. But if, but, but if these, this dozen here were in larger muffin cups, so if they were in the same size as these, they would probably look the same, but it doesn't matter. They're going to taste the same. That's what matters the most. <laughs> there you have it. Reese's Pieces. Peanut butter cups made at home.